y'all welcome back to my channel and if you're new here then welcome today is wednesday so we're gonna do another wednesday wisdom and a little get ready with me y'all know how we do <laughs> but anyway if you already know that you feeling this look right here go ahead and give this video a thumbs up leave any questions or comments down below if you have any and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and the video begins now Okay, so starting with the brows. So today, I think I wanna talk about isolation today and how important it is to isolate yourself sometimes. A few months ago, God was dealing with me about isolation. You know, isolation is very important, especially um, having a relationship with God. When you isolate yourself from the world and just get to yourself and just meditate on him you hear from god clear you you know you strengthen your connection with him when you spend a lot of time with him because a lot of times when you have like a lot of people around you or you talk to people every day you deal with people a lot you know it's hard to hear from him because you have so many other people talking and you just never get that alone time that you need with him and not even just on a spiritual basis like isolation is important you know period like everybody needs me time you know we all need time to ourselves to just get away from the world and just breathe <laughs> i'm just gonna go ahead and put on my primer for elf and i am carving out my brows with the pro concealer in the shade medium no warm honey like isolation it's not a want it is a need like it is a must because in order to grow in god you have to have a relationship with him and in order to have a relationship with someone you have to spend time with them so you know it's the same thing spiritual you can't prosper in god if you don't put your time in being fresh in christ you know isolation is really really needed because you know you're not strong you know you're weak so being around people that you know people that's not trying to live christ-like hang the hanging out and going out and you know being around the drinking and smoking and things like that and if you're not doing that it tends to deal with you it tends to mess with you you know god had dealt with me about you know friends and family and you know i love everybody there's no hard feelings towards anyone but when god speak and tell you to separate yourself you have to do just that because if you don't something's gonna take place it's very very important to have a listening ear when it comes to god i learned you know if you don't do what he say then <laughs> He not going to be the one suffering. You're <laughs> you going to be the one hurt at the end of the day. Like, you the one need his blessings. He's good. <laughs> he already got it all. We're the ones in need. So, if you want to be hard-headed and keep running or keep doing your own thing, then, you know, you're not hurting nobody but yourself. Decide for yourself who's more important. You know, are you trying to please people or are you trying to please him? I'm taking my Black Opal True Color Foundation Stick in the shade Rich Caramel because when God wants you to do certain things and you know, I mean even isolation, like when God wants you to isolate yourself and you have to stop dealing with the people that you, you know, you know, sometimes it's people that you talk to on a daily basis. So, you know, people that you're really close with. And God tell you to let them go, like, what do you do? You know, do you care more about what they say? And they like, you know, of course they don't want to let you go. You know, I've had to let go of friends that I've had for years for my walk with Christ. When you say, for God I live and for God I die, like, you really have to mean that thing. Like, you can't make no exceptions like no like it's either him 
or the world. I tell myself a long time ago, like, I am done going through things that I don't have to. Because, you know, a lot of things the God throw at us. But then again, like, a lot of times... We go through stuff because of us, like the decisions that we made. When God throw that extra obstacle in your way, he will bring it to your remembrance. Like he will remind you of some of the things that you've done or things that he told you to do and you didn't do. Like, uh, remember when I told you to do this and you didn't want to do it? Yeah, this is why this is happening to you. <laughs> so me, I, you know, I'll tell anybody, like, I will love you to death, but you are not worth my relationship with Christ like you're just not I think I want to take my Maybelline Super Stay um, foundation stick in the shade golden 312 and I want to do a little highlighting with that when you're isolated you you know not only will you connect with god but you connect a lot with yourself like if you don't know who you are and you need to find yourself isolation is one of the best ways to do that just get to yourself and see who you really are see what your purpose is in life if you're you know someone that's lost and don't know what to do where to go get to yourself just figure out, you know, what you're good at, what's your passion. It's okay to dabble in different things here and there just to figure out what's for you and what's not. You know, some people we automatically know, like, it's just certain gifts that we were born with and we know what our passion is, but everybody don't know. Everybody don't know their purpose on this earth. Speaking career-wise, I had to stop conversating with, you know, certain people because, you know, even if, you know, I'm not the one speaking or certain things, you know, a lot of times, you know, you don't want to open yourself up to certain things. Like, they're talking about something that, you know, that you're no longer into, your new lifestyle doesn't agree with stuff like that gets in your spirit like i no longer smoke or drink if i'm on the phone and someone telling me oh how they got drunk you know they got high and all this and that <laughs> me you know trying to live a life for christ why do i want to hear that like i don't want to hear that i don't care about that and that's another thing like about separating yourself from people that you you had a good time with out in the world. You know, a lot of people, they can't see the new you because they're still, you know, attached to the old you. So they're gonna still discuss what you used to do because that is the relationship that y'all had. I've had many conversations with old friends and they would say something like, Oh, I know you don't do this anymore, but remember when, like, okay, if you know I don't do that, then why bring it up, you know? <laughs> oh, I know you with God now, but remember when, okay, but if you know I'm with God and, you know, you should respect me enough, me being your friend, to not even bring that to my attention. Like, respect my growth. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. I'm going to take my It's My Ray Ray palette and I'm going to contour this uh, mocha shade right here if you have people in your life that can't respect that you're on a new path to greatness <laughs> they can't respect your faith walk your relationship with god then you know those people aren't for you like straight up you know i'm not gonna lie it was hard to let certain people go it really was but again like you have to decide who you're living for god will bless you with people that's on your level you know, they want the same things that you want in life. It's not just like, oh, I have to be alone for the rest of my life now because I'm saved. Like, no. Isolation is it's a season. While you're isolated, enjoy that alone time. Enjoy, you know, that time with God. I'm going to use this blush today. It is the Lychee Gold, this rose gold blush here. bronze a little bit with my Milani Glow 04.
taking my NYX Color Correct palette, and I'm gonna take this shade here. I'm setting my lids with that powder. I'm gonna be taking from my Zodiac palette from BH Cosmetics, and I'm just going to take this new shade first. I'm gonna take this um, pink shade right here. Taking this dark purple. Taking Virgo. I'm also going to be taking Libra. I'm going to put that right beside Virgo. Taking that reddish brown and put it in my crease a little bit with that dark purple. take this white I took this color right here from my BH Cosmetics Nude Lip Palette. I'm also going to take this chocolate color. Taking my e.l.f. Setting Spray. So I've applied my Natural Bella Hair Lashes and this is the look guys. Now let's get into this hair. I'm using my Olive Miracle Leave-In Conditioner. I'm just gonna take my toothbrush and just brush it on up. Okay, y'all, this is the finished look. I hope you all enjoyed this video today. If you like this look, please give this video a thumbs up. Feel free to leave any questions or comments down below. Y'all know where. And also, the most important part, do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see y'all on my next video.